Hey guys, Spino Dude here, and today we're looking at a classic Schleich figure from 2002. It's the Mini Triceratops. I've had this guy for quite a while now, and I thought it was just about time that we got cracking and did a review on him. So without further ado, let's start taking a closer look. One thing I do want to point out is that this figure is not scientifically accurate, unfortunately. It is a small figure, and it was one of Schleich's mascots for the dinosaurs back in the day before their new series came out with their more colorful animals back in 2012, I believe. But this animal, you can see, has uh, its tail dragging along the ground. It's very wide and bulky as its head low to the ground, and its skull is incredibly long. But I thought the sculpt was not, I thought the detailing in the sculpt was nice and the color scheme. So let's go ahead and start taking a closer look at it. Starting off at the head sculpt, you can see how the skull is really way too long for a Triceratops, but it gives it a unique look in my opinion. I think it gives a lot of character, almost like a cartoony looking dinosaur. You can see the detailing in the horns are really nice, uh, very weathered, and I loved how the darker color fades into the lighter bone color, which is really nice. There you can see the beak there on the front, which is closed. Nostril detailing on the end there. You can also see the, the eyes in a red color, which is quite nice. You can see that on the back of the frill there, we have some red stripes, and it's in like this, I would say it's gray, but it's more of like a, it's like a purple hue to it, a purple hue with uh, mostly gray. You can see some black striping there, some nice bone, pebbly uh, looking details all around the edge of the frill. Really nice. You can see the indentation in the frill that Triceratops does have in its skull today. If you look at it straight on, it looks more like a Triceratops in my opinion. Uh, than it, it does from the side because of the long skull. So moving up the back, you can see that we have really nice uh, ridges going along the back here in a bony color. Uh, I think it would have been better to have them in like the gray color because it almost looks like it has spikes, which we know Triceratops didn't have. See some black stripes with um, a hue of red going along the edges. You have some red spots, nice detailing, really big lumps in the skin and uh, skin bunching up on the bottom there. Really nice. You can also see on the front leg there, uh, the stripe detailing. And uh, the toes are not too prominent either. It just looks like a big slab of paint all along the front. Quite unfortunate about the toes, but anyway, it is a very small model and they packed a lot of detail into it. So moving up uh, the body, you can see that it does have some nice tensing and musculature throughout the rest of the body and the leg here. Um, I think that, I think it's pretty nice and consistent. It's uh, the tail, which unfortunately is drooping and dragging along the ground. Uh, pretty consistent color scheme. Going around the other side. Yeah, you can see very similar, almost mirroring both sides. It is turned to the side a little bit, so the skin is stretching on this side, but it's not really bunching up over on this side. I don't know uh, why they did that, but it's a little bit of sculpt mishap on mine here. It has like a chunk of the uh, stuff it was molded in attached to the ankle there, unfortunately. You can see the feet on this side very similar to the front. Baggy skin underneath the neck there. And you can see on the belly, it's the same color scheme. It just says Triceratops, that's too schleich. And the bottom of the feet are very smooth. All right, time to measure this guy. Marvin, bring in the ruler. Thank you, Marvin. All right, we have our trusty flexi ruler now. Now let's measure this guy. In terms of the length, we're looking at exactly five inches long. In terms of the height, which is the highest point at the back, we're looking at two inches. For size comparison, I'd like to bring in a Schleich fan favorite. It is the Pentaceratops. This is from their new 2013 line. And you can see that he's way bigger than this little Triceratops. But I think these two look quite nice next to each other. Although Schleich has really changed their style since 2002. So this would be more appropriately displayed with the, the new series that started in 2012, I believe. Link to this review is down below if you want to see that. Up next for comparison, I'd like to bring in the Schleich Kentrosaurus. This Stegosaurus is from 2015 Schleich, and I think it's a really fantastic figure. If you want to take a look at the review, link is down below if you want to see that. I think these two look alright together, but like I said, this is from the new Schleich, so they would be more appropriately displayed with the uh, newer models from Schleich. 
But well, there we go guys, that was today's look at the Schleich 2002 Mini Triceratops. I hope you have enjoyed this review. I think this figure is okay. It's uh, kind of a cartoony feel to it, and it's really inaccurate unfortunately, but it is a really old figure from Schleich and they have improved a ton since this back then. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next review. Bye -bye.